Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No One Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're actually going to be covering how to use your iDVD and iMovie, basically export a project from iMovie and put it onto a DVD using the application on Apple computers uh, iDVD. So we're going to begin, jump right in, I'm going to go into iMovie and uh, if it loads for me here of course. But I'm going to open it up and we worked on a previous tutorial covering cropping. Um, we're actually going to, let's say we're going to export this project and we, we, we want to put this beautiful project onto a DVD. So what I'm going to do is first off, well I'm not going to click on project, I'm going to go back to my iMovie Tutorials events, iMovie Tutorials project and it's going to open this up. And clicking on my project, I'm going to go share, file, I'm going to go to this file because I just, I just want to save it onto my desktop. I'm going to go highest quality, it's all there and uh, 50 point megabytes estimated and uh, compatibility mode it just it's which is just fine so go go next desktop i'm going to name it iMovie tutorials straight save it on my desktop and hit save so let that export this corner circle it says tra processing transcoding iMovie tutorials mp4 one minute it says that mp4 but it actually comes out as a dot mov i don't really understand why it does that but so let's let's uh, export here. It shouldn't take any longer because this is only a 20 second video. I mean 20 second, uh, <laughs> yeah, project video, same thing. So while we're doing that, I actually have my CD here, which is, and just in case you're wondering, I, I'm using uh, going to be using a DVD R. It's uh, 4.7 gigabytes or 120 minutes, which I'm really not going to need this much for the CD. It's just a CD that I had on hand, and I actually have several of these CDs. I'm going to put it right into my computer right now. And also, I'm going to launch iDVD. I'm going to launch that application while we're waiting for my project to export. Look, ex export, not explode. <laughs> and uh, here's my project. Here's my it's iMovie Tutorials. That's what we named it. I'm going to put it right down here at the right bottom right-hand corner, or maybe a little bit higher. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm not really sure where my tutorial is cutting it out. But uh, here you, are. you inserted a blank DVD. Choose an action from the pop-up menu. So we're just going to do... We're gonna just go to open in open finder. But actually we don't even need to do anything with it just yet. Um just gonna hit ignore at the moment. But here's our project it actually just exploded. Share success um it just exported. <laughs> it says share successful, share a file. I'm gonna close this out and it's just really twenty second video. I'm gonna exit out of it and it's right down here as I showed you guys earlier. Now I opened up IDVD and I'm gonna go to create new project. I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna name my project uh uh, tutorial DVD and I'm going to save it to my desktop that way it's easy to find and instead of standard standards just small screen and we, we want widescreen that that's the that's the best it's the biggest basically and uh, create project shouldn't take there we go here's our project saved on our desktop and it gives you the default default uh, theme here um, where there's music I hope that music's not too loud I'm actually gonna mute my volume that way it doesn't interrupt but it gives you default theme uh, you can go down here at the themes you can choose what theme you want I'm actually just gonna use I'm gonna stick to the standard which is revolution I believe it they're called or this one's called and I'm gonna name it this to, this is your title this is what you're gonna name your your basically your uh, move your movie or your onto when you export to your DVD when you put it into a DVD it's gonna be like your menu basically for the project so what you don't have to have this if you don't want this if you want to just play your uh, your, your project you can do that but for in this case I'm, I'm actually gonna set up a menu a menu looks nice if you think about it so I'm gonna name this one a no and row films tutorials I think I spelled that right tutorials tutorials tutorial. yeah and uh, there we go and uh, also this is a drop zone meaning like you can put an image here which or you can put a video if you want but in this case I'm actually gonna put uh, an image see no normal films tutorials it says it all up there and also set as it right here no normal films tutorials um, but right in here I'm actually drag an image that I've actually used already I'm actually used it in a video I, I just uploaded but uh, there we go it's uh, just pro with me on it and I just thought I would drop, drag that in 
Now, also, you heard the, the volume that was playing in the background, which I just muted my computer. You won't be able to hear it anymore. But you can change that audio, too. You can go to import a video audio image, or it depends which one you want to import, and then choose and play it under however you want it. I can make uh, further tutorials on iDVD if you guys would like, but this is just mainly basic how to export onto your iMovie project onto and put it on a, TV, a DVD and then show it to the rest of your family through a DVD. So let's jump in. Okay, like I said, we have our project our movie that we wanted to put onto our DVD and uh, also with the way we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna go up to up here mo mo the, the main uh, I, I stumbled upon my words right there but the main um, action you're gonna want or the main buttons they're gonna be looking for are gonna be up all the way at the top up here all the time it's like project and what we're gonna do is actually you, you do have one up here to like the inspector you can like change some basic properties of your movie through this one, bottom left of can, bottom left hand corner of uh, iDVD. But so what we're gonna do is also we're, we're just gonna go to we can either right click it also we get some options as well that way. But just for basics, I'm gonna go all the way top and I'm gonna go under um, I'm gonna go under uh, project and we're gonna go to add movie. And as you can see, we just added a movie. This is a button, basically. It didn't add the movie. This is an add movie here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this button. We're gonna name it uh, begin. Well, if it selected it there. See, I think my iDVD just froze. Come on. Oh no, there we go. Come on, let me type. Give me the fonts that I want. Okay, first, before I can change the font, apparently wants me to put the movie in first. So here we are. Here's the button that we're going to use, though. And then I'm going to grab my movie here. And I'm going to drag it straight into add movie here. And I dragged it right under it, and this little error sign should go away. Now I can change it to begin tutorial. Begin tutorial. And uh, depending on your how long or how big your movie is that you're putting into a DVD it might take a little you'll have some processing maybe it might take a little bit of time to process but since this mine is only a 20 second video it's just quick right away and here's our button we got a button here this is the title normal films tutorials and we got a button that says begin tutorial now we have our image here as well and I'm actually I'm gonna hit this loop button that way you can see it loop and this is how it's gonna look on your main menu that's what this does it basically loops it so you can see how it's gonna look like while you're going but this is the main begin tutorial and since I only have have one video I'm only gonna have one button you can change more you can add more which you can uh, adjust through your map which is the to the left hand left the left button of the loop um, if you go left there's a it's basically show DVD map you click on that it shows you your map and uh, this is what it is this is your tutorial and this is my begin tutorial once you hit begin tutorial on the the main menu the menu um, screen it will go to begin tutorial which plays this and also you can do just just a basic like a drag content here to automatically play when the disc is inserted so I'm gonna get out of the map screen and I'm gonna go back to my project like so and th that's like the animation it will do at the beginning and I'm gonna move the button like center as best as I can here it doesn't really give me any lines or anything but so we got our tutorial in here I simply dragged and dropped it under the button after let's let's review real quick I went to I right clicked or no no I did I did project and I did add movie then I, I couldn't change the name of it until I actually dragged my project into add movie and then I could change the name of it to begin tutorial so now that we have begin tutorial we can actually hit play right here and take a look at it it gives us a little uh, actual uh, control bar here or you can just do it with your mouse and uh, here we are this is what it's going to look like on your TV when you inserted it, your DVD through your uh, DVD player so I'm going to hit begin tutorial and it should take us directly to our tutorial and there we go we're back to straight to our tutorial and then you hit the uh, menu and it takes you back to the menu so that's what we're basically going to export or burn to our DVD now okay see it's all set up we're satisfied with our um, DVD our project and I through through I DVD. We're gonna go to this button. This it doesn't look like a, like a button. It looks like a closed uh, action or like a, almost like a nuke button. But it says burn I DVD project to disk. You just basically hit that right there, and then it will say creating your DVD. Yeah, prepare processing menu. And uh, while it's doing this, I'm actually gonna show. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I am running on I DVD 7.1.2, I believe it is. And uh, you don't want to interrupt, you don't want to exit or eject your CD while it's doing this either. 
um, but this shouldn't take any longer this is says it's six minutes it is burning so it does it will take it really depends how long your video is um, it would it shouldn't take like for me 20 seconds six minutes five minutes is really around the time you should take now if you're if you have like a maybe 20 minute video you might have to wait a little bit longer and your computer might heat up well I'm using a MacBook Pro too so it's it's definitely making noise already like it's trying to stay cool but uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys like I said um, also leave any comments any comments at all in the comment section below I try to um, I hope I explained everything I hope I covered everything uh, for you guys is that you guys understand everything but yeah leave any comment any question at all in the comment section below I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible other than that you guys uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah here you go my, com my computer's really uh, <laughs> taken off now but it's uh, after this is done you can uh, basically let it process after it's all done it will eject the CD or it will say that it's all done you can eject the CD and then put it into your DVD player and then it should play just like a normal uh, DVD uh, other than that like I said again <laughs> repeating myself I want to make sure that you guys leave any questions at all in the comment section below and uh, thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next tutorial and later Let my life be the proof the proof of you.